Hello. Right, I've just a couple, whoa, about three hours ago I posted up a message on my Facebook page saying, sorry guys, no vlog. Truth is, I'd actually recorded a vlog. I got kind of three quarters of the way through it and my brain shut down and I couldn't think of anything else to say and I lost the will to live so I deleted it. Um, but I've just watched the Ideal Ohm show and so um, I was sitting there chilling out and I thought bugger it, I'm going to go out to the shed, put the heater on because it's absolutely freezing and I'm only wearing a dressing gown. Too much information, maybe. Hmm. Uh, and uh, I'm in a, a much more talkative mood now, even though I look like I've been dragged through a hedge backwards. And, and TG's just going to sleep. He's just had enough. Uh, right. The problem is that everything I had laid... I had ever, usually have everything laid out so that I know what I'm going to talk about. Um, but unfortunately, all I have here just now is um, a pair of tweezers, uh, the spinny thing that... Um, yes, I can still... Oh, 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 there we go, there we go. Um, these are great. I know they get a slagging and all the rest of it and they serve no purpose whatsoever. But, um, I, do you know, it just... Aye, yes. And I think that's the point where in the last vlog I tried to record, I think I sat there for a few minutes actually just watching it and I forgot to speak. Um, but, um, yeah, there we go. Swiftly moving on. Um, what do I want to talk about? Right, what have I been vaping on? I've been vaping on lots of things this week. Um, but the thing I've mostly been vaping on is the the thing from um, that I talked about already uh, from At Mizzou. Now, I actually, the Kiris, the Kira, is it the Kiris? Kiras, uh, I think. Um, I used it all week in rebuildable mode and it's a really tight draw, very tight draw. Um, but if you do some jiggery pokery and uh, you can take the deck out and you can use the Triton coils, the big Triton coils that work in the Triton and the Atlantis, um, and it gives you that. So I'm putting my I'm at uh, 30 watts. Mmm, the flavour is superb. I prefer the flavour using the rebuildable deck uh, with the tighter airflow. And it's tight, it's so tight. Um, and that's it with the, the mini tank. And that's only 2mm and it's still quite a tall little thing. Tall little thing? Um, but it's so well made. <laughs> Seriously, it is so well made. Um, that is also the the thing that's from the people that make mods. Um, Vapegeek.co.uk uh, sent this on. I don't know how I'm going to review this. Uh, at the Therian, uh, is it the Therian? Excuse me, I read it. Um, the Triad, Triad or Triad, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's the exact same as the last one, except this one is 250 watts. This is the DNA 250 watt version. Uh, still triple 18650s in the back there. Same dimensions, the lot. Um, I, I don't know how to give you the review because it's the exact same. Apart from that extra 50 watts. I've not investigated so far uh, as yet to see if it's... Um, what the you know the extra voltage not volt voltage volts how many more volts you can run it uh, compared to a DNA two hundred I've not checked any of that and I'm really talking some shite now but I'll keep going um, what I also got today uh, <laughs> he's such a dick um, the one the only uh, Damien Mortar. Um, the IDA, um, IDA by Fakir's um, dripper, 
uh, which I really, really like. Uh, they've actually got a bottom feed deck for it now, uh, but they sent it on to Damien, who then posted it on to me. Now, if if any of you work in the bomb, bomb disposals department, um, I, I, I really do... I can sympathise with you because when you get a parcel from Damien and you look and, and it's, it's got a wee sticker that says a bloody good vaping on the back of it and you think, do I really want to open this? What the hell is going to be in here? And lo and behold there was a condom. And the strange thing is that anybody in this planet sending you a condom would be a funny thing but coming from a man that has you know, a football team uh, of kids um, it, it's it's even funnier, it really is um, <laughs> but anyway uh, so so I've got a squonky deck for uh, the, the IDA and I'm using it on the, the Kenzie what have I got I can't even remember what I've got it at now 25 watts um, and it's, it's squonky I mean quite the thing I'm using the, uh, I can't remember what this material is, this is one of the fancy top cats that came with it, it's like a, is it peak? I think it may be peak, this actual material that they're using for this top cap, and I could be wrong. Um, and I always thought it looked crap, but for some reason I don't mind it on this wooden mod, I quite like it. Uh, so, vaping with that, pardon me. <clears throat> Actually, whilst this is in reach, I uh, ordered and purchased uh, this um, rootliquids.co.uk. This is their root signature custard. Very, very nice. It's a good custard, this. Very good custard. Uh, quite impressed with it. I'm also quite impressed. He did send me on a sample pack, um, and I've Work, been working my way through a lot of them, and I've given, I've tried most of them and given them away, uh, because I'm just a one-trick pony. I like my custard, um, but they were all good. Um, which is, I'll be honest, there's a lot of shit juice out there. There's a lot of shit juice. You get a juice that it says something in the label, and you take a vape of it, and it's like, what? It's it's nothing like what it's promised. Um, this guy makes good juice uh, rootliquids.co.uk go and give him a look um, speaking of juice now three years now it's been three years that I have been um, goose juice has been my all day vape and this is what I have left that's it that's all I've got left. Or it was until this morning. Not oh, this morning, sorry. Yesterday morning. Uh, the lovely Greg and Linda topped me up. Um, so I'm uh, I'm good to go again. I love my goose juice. I really love my goose juice. It's strange, after three years, I still love this stuff. I really do. Um, I, 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 do you get that? The peop I mean, I don't know if you guys that vape the same, have the same all day vape, like myself. Uh, I mean, I get people saying, how do you vape that stuff all the time? I'll say, well, I smoked the same fags for 30 years uh, and it never bothered me. Um, I just like to vape what I vape. Simple as that. Um, what else? Other stuff. Oh, <gasps> other stuff. Other stuff. Right, oh, where is it? Oh, there. And there. Let's show you this. Right, I mentioned this. Um, Anthony at Elemental Mods um, was making doors, panels for the Billet Box 4. Now I've gone on about the Billet Box 4 already. I, I love it with a passion. I think it's it's my one of my go-to mods. Uh, if I'm leaving the house for a day, this is what I grab. Uh, 
it, it's just brilliant. I had a blue billet box four with uh, black carbon panels. Um, I now have a one that looks like that. These are stabilised wood doors, uh, panels on there. Uh, the button was done by Anthony as well, as was the drip tip. Um, I'm just, I'm sorry. I, I'm not. I'll be brutally honest. I mean, I was given various options of what panels I could choose. Um, I saw the the wood, the, what looks like wood, natural wood, uh, and that's what appeals to me. Um, granted, when they arrived and I put them on with the blue, I wasn't entirely convinced it was such a great idea. Uh, but now I, I just absolutely love it. The how can I say this without sounding like a, a dick? Um, it, it it's just a couple of wooden panels uh, at the end of the day, but they are just stunning, absolutely stunning. And the condensation build up in the billet box does my friggin head in. It really does. Um, anyway, give that a little dry down there. You do get used to that when you're using a billet box. Um, you do get condensation build up. It's just one of these things. Um, and I've always got a battery in it. Ready to go. Awesome. Uh, I'm actually ve um that's um the other bottles in the house. That's Duck's Breath uh by uh Quax Juice Factory or Quaxters or whatever they're called now. Um I, I I'm not a fan of the other Quax juice juices. They've sent them on to me in the past. I've never been a fan of them. This is like a berry, a really fruity berry one. Um, it's not my kind of vape, but it's it's coming through nice in the billet box. Um, what else? About a year ago, over a year ago maybe, uh, I met a man, strange man. Uh, no, I'm only kidding. Um, I was at the Glasgow School of Vape. They had a vape meet, Glasgow School of Vape, um, in Glasgow of all places. Um, and I met a guy there for the first time, Mark. Mark Elliot. Um, who I've met a few times now and he's a fanny, but um, I'm only kidding, he's a hell of a nice guy. Uh, and he had there a hypno stick, um, which is a mod that kind of looks like that. That's a hypno stick. Um, it uses a star plat, it's titanium, uh, your wood, uh, you've got your up and down buttons in the bottom, yeah, it's 18650 and I have been wanting one of these for a year um, and to be brutally honest I couldn't afford one uh, because they were quite expensive and my budget just didn't allow for it at the time because uh, I'm just a poor retail worker. Um, They've come down in price, and Matthew Wood, uh, Matt Wood, um, it does uh, Woody's bedroom reviews. Uh, he had one up for sale, uh, so I snapped this up, and I'm as happy as a pig and shit um, to have to finally have one. And uh, John Martin, if you're watching this, this does not look like a toilet. I don't care what you say. I don't care what you say. This does not look like a toilet much. Anyway, um, so that yeah, pride and joy. Uh, so, so happy with that. Uh, other things that arrived this week that I really want to mention. Um, the Squonky. Uh, Sunbox and Stackquam got together and did a squonking atomizer. And this is it here. Um, now, the, the, the bottom, the big bit at the bottom uh, think of uh, an RDTA or whatever the hell they're called. It's not such a reed build old dripping tank atomizer. It means nothing. Um, anyway, uh, you know how they've got like um, 
the deck up the top and then the, the cotton comes down into a reservoir well that's what this big bit at the bottom is it's like a, a reservoir and your decks up the top. I'll be doing a review so you'll see it then. Um, tiny, tiny little chamber in there. Um, the flavour is superb. Really is superb. Um, there's something about, I mean, I'm, I'm a huge fan of these things. Uh, now these are the, <laughs> what they call, it's not the something. Nuppins, the Nuppins by P. Dib. Uh, I've got two of these and I absolutely adore them uh, just because they're tiny little chambers uh, squonking at us. Um, and that's the, the kind of, I'm getting the same kind of flavour from this as I was, as I do from the other ones. Um, it's, I don't know, it's, I mean, you can actually, you can take the airflow ring right off. Well, you, oh, you can, honestly. Uh, and and have full open airflow. It does look. It's it's. I'm gonna swear. No, I don't need to swear. It it's a bit of an ugly son of a gun. Um, but it works really really well, uh, which I just am. Um, I'm enjoying this a lot. I really. And plus Chris at Stackwam, um, he includes chocolate when he sends me anything. So I'm duty bound to say nice things because I'm a fat bastard and I like chocolate. So if you're wanting a good review, send lots of chocolate. That's not true. Much. Um, other stuff. Other stuff. I've not got much. I think I've kind of, because I've said all this already, I've kind of... <gasps> Going through this quite quickly. Um, what other stuff? Right. Um, Lee uh, from Tab Lights is sending me on next week the <coughs> the Plato. Now you know the the, the Plato by Aspire. Um, great bit of kit. Really, really good bit of kit. Um, well, they've got this a new mod, and it, and it looks almost like the Plato, except it takes there's no tank inside. It just takes two eighteen six fifties, but it's kind of like got the same uh, menu system and everything as the NX seventy five, which is a tremendous bit of gear. Uh, so I am really looking forward to that because I think it looks quite groovy. Um, could I polish this? Hmm. Sorry. I've just looked at the top and I've got like a, a bit of atty rash on this. And it's made it kind of shiny instead of brushed. And I'm recording a vlog, but um, hey ho, I can multitask. Uh, I'm in touch with my feminine side. Um, I'm just, I can't believe I'm going to do this. What the hell? Let's go for it. Uh, what was I talking about? Yeah, uh, but uh, Lee's uh, also sending me the the what do you call it? What's the the three mil tank? The three and a half mil tank? No, the Cleto, but the the one twenty version. So I shall be vaping at about one hundred and twenty watts uh, or thereabouts. Uh, nah, this isn't going to. I would need to get the old buffer out if I wanted to shine this thing up. I think. Uh, um, oh no, that's that's coming up with stop, don't do this in camera, how rude um, so I, I, I shall be vaping uh, high wattage whether I live through the tail I, I did, it. oh that's coming up nice is that, can, is that does that look any shinier than my and a little bit of shine there. I think I, I love shine. Uh, I know brushed makes sense because you don't get all fingerprints and whatnot, but uh, a mod when it's all polished up, there's just something really sexy about it. Um, right, what else is coming on? There's an RTA on its way from White Owl. 
uh, that looks really really interesting I think I mentioned that before but I am looking forward to that uh, I also have a mod which we should hopefully be here tomorrow from Gprov um, if it if it's if it looks and feels half as good as it does in the photos that uh, George sent on to me, they are gorgeous, uh, then I will be one lucky, lucky man. Um, also, Ali, uh, Ali from Loch Gilpend, my, my one of my old hometowns, uh, she got a G-Prov box as well, which looks oh, gorgeous. Um, so, that be that. What else have I been vaping with? Um, See, there's a Tefun GT3 out. Um, I was talking to Michael from um, Bell Caps, uh, uh, one of the Munns uh, brothers, and he was. Uh, if, if you've never tried, if you can pick up a Tefun GT2 uh, RTA, um give it a bash, it's not wide open airflow, uh, not by any stretch of the imagination, but uh, it's one that's overlooked a lot, but it has a really loyal following for very good reason. Um, I would actually say it's, it's, I personally think it's better than the Uber Toot. Uh, I think the flavor and I, th I just think it is. And if you can get a bell cap for the GT2, it's awesome. Anyway, I was talking to Michael and he has a GT3 and um, he was saying it's brilliant. It's actually a lot. He thinks it's a lot better than the GT2, which is high praise. So um, there we go with that. Um, he's out cold. <laughs> um, right, we're getting there. We're getting there. Um, actually, it's a school night, isn't it? I've got work in the. What the hell? Sorry, I'm going to partake in a little drinky poo. Um, Radic, I don't know if you watch my videos at all, my friend, but just you keep bringing me the good stuff. Um, I am. Um, what else? Um, oh, I, if you're on Safer Vapors. Um, a massive, massive congratulations to uh, the guys in Safer Vapors for raising. They raised nine and a half grand uh, for Paula, uh, one of the admins on there, which was just awesome. And I'm not scared to admit that um, John John Martin uh, from the Ideal Home Show, he was an admin on there, and he's uh, he, he jacked it in, but he actually got sacked. I don't want to start a rumor, but he got sacked. All this vape th fame thing going to his head, getting too big for his boots, so they sacked him. They didn't really. But anyway, he did a video summing up his two years as um, admin there. And I swear to God, the last, um, what, 30 seconds of the, the video, they, it was excerpts from live conversations of... Um, They've done so many things, but basically it's where uh, one of the admins would be in a live conversation with somebody and told them that they've raised X amount of money for them and you're seeing the reaction of the people. Um, and I, oh, I was... Oh, oh. Um, but anyway, uh, so uh, well done to John for everything he did in Safer Vapors. And, um, and yeah, it was just... That was really good, really good. Um, uh, slange. Uh, um, that's better. Um, I was going to finish off a story about this knife. I, I, I used to work in fish farms. I got to that bit, I got that far. I worked in fish farms. And when I got... There was a boat called the Cassandra. Uh, that serviced the fish farm and um, BP used to own that fish farm when I went to work there it was Golden Sea Produce I think GSP I think it was and and anyway I got this knife from a guy called Michael 
oh my god can't remember his surname um, and, and I've had this knife ever since I've had this knife for oh it must be 25 oh over 25 years probably um, and um, yeah that was the story of the knife I finally got round to finishing it I know I go off track but taking stories over vlogs is just uh, that's a bit too much what else um, videos uh, and shit like that I've not watched any I really haven't um, because I just it's been a bad week it's been a bad week and uh, I've just not had the time to, to watch much in the way of videos um, I t <laughs> woke up this morning <laughs> I, was, I normally wake up in the morning the first thing I do is uh, the dog terrorises me uh, the wife terrorises me and then I get a few minutes peace and quiet I pick up the phone and I say see if there's any vaping videos that I can have a quick swatch at suck my mod um, I don't know if you've seen it but um, half asleep push play on the <laughs> and there's Matt no top on, a cape and two straws I'll tell you, I've never woken up so fast in my life terrifying stuff um, they are actually coming over to Edinburgh um, next week um, which I'll hopefully go over to and catch up with them which would be awesome um, I'm not going to make it to Expo uh, because I am going away that weekend with Karen instead um, which is a shame I no. Yeah, I think Vape Fest was. Uh, I like. I think Vape Fest was closed the book. Clo it ended it for the year. That was that was enough. I ended it on a a sore high point. Um, Mister Muddit, I still love you dearly. Um, and it, I've already done Expo in in Birmingham. So doing it twice in one year. This, um, I don't know. I don't. Um, but I hope everybody that goes has a really good time. A uh, really good time. Just remember and wear your snapback, grow your beard, and wear black. Um, that's a joke, by the way. I, I don't really care what you wear. It's just, anyway, because some people get a little bit upset when I say things like that. Um, my videos, I mean, the Mini Moose by MMV. Um, I absolutely adore that mod. I simply adore it. Um, I don't know why. It, it's just, it's the right side of quirky for me. Uh, just the right side of quirky, and 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 that's enough. Um, did I? You know, Damien did the review as well. He had problems with the magnets on his. I don't. Do I need to say it? I'll say it anyway. He had problems with the magnets in his door. I think one of them had come unglued. Uh, and I think they've upgraded the magnets since then. Uh, I think I saw Miriam posting that. Um, and yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Um, oh, uh, a little lesson uh, for you again. For, for those that like to comment on these things. Uh, if you see something and think it's too expensive and you think that uh, maybe that company is trying to rip you off then please go away and um, you design it and you work out how much it's going to cost you to build these in you know s certain amount you know quantities of say 20 to 40 and um, and, and, and let us know how much you're going to charge for it um, if you think something's too expensive, you're not going to buy it. There's no issue. I'm trying to be polite here. I shall be polite. I'll, I'll stay polite. <laughs> fight it, fight it. Um, I am... Um, I, do you know, I think I'm going to go. Oh, I've got to wrap stuff up. <gasps> oh, I've got to wrap stuff up. Um. 
which I'll probably forget to. Oh, I've got to leave that out. Um, yes, I'm going to go because uh, I'm going to go and join a hangout just now. I'm going to drink some more po 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 Polish vodka videos. Um, what that's what I was going to do. I was going to look at other videos that have been out this month, month, week that I haven't watched. Um, anybody watch Westworld? How awesome was that? It was really, really good. Uh, the new HBO show, Westworld. Um, I, oh, big fan, huge fan of the film. The, you know, I'm going back in time here. Uh, but yeah, it was very, very good. And it was, it was good off the bat. I mean, Luke Cage. I mean, oh man. <laughs> That was so boring. Uh, it was so boring. Um, but, um, and there are no videos there that, uh, so many reviews that I've not watched um, that I would normally watch. Sorry, um, can't even think. Um, I, yeah, I'm, I'm talking mints now. Right, guys, I'm going to go. I'll get this uploaded. Uh, and uh, apologies if I've been talking shite more than normal. Um, uh, I'll, oh, before I go, uh, I'll, I'll leave on this part note. This is a special, special message to a special somebody. Chris Addy. You're a fanny. Has to be said. <laughs> I love him. Uh, right, guys, I'll catch you next week. Bye-bye.